I'm John Kosick, live at Cleveland State, where tonight the governor's new task force on Ohio community and police relations met for the first time. The Blue Ribbon Panel is charged with improving relationships between police and the communities they serve, recommendations that will eventually be put to use here in Cleveland. On a Cleveland State Auditorium stage, they sat and listened for four hours to testimony of both professionals and the public, professors and people about the breakdown and the relationship between the police and their communities. People like this Cleveland woman whose 10-year-old son was detained without her knowledge because he fit the description of someone shooting a paint gun. The description? He told me the description of a suspect was an African-American male between the ages of 7 and 18. It was one of several examples of racial bias that the governor's handpicked panel heard along with questions about police hiring, training, and practices. Panel co-chair, former state senator Nina Turner, says it's something that she can relate to as the mother of an African-American son who is now a police officer but faced racial obstacles growing up. And I also understand this from the perspective of being a mother who sees a system that is biased and that in lots of communities people start to feel like their skin is their sin. The panel includes a diverse group of present and former lawmakers like former Congressman Lou Stokes, but also those in law enforcement, businessmen, and NFL Hall of Famer Anthony Munoz. I'm really excited because I think uh, this group and listening to uh, not only the presentations, but going into the communities and listening to the communities, I think uh, there can be a lot accomplished. And former Congressman Lou Stokes told me afterwards tonight that he's been given assurances by the governor that a lot will be accomplished, and that's why he got involved in this project. They're going to have three more meetings around the state before eventually coming up with a report that must be presented by the end of April. Reporting live at Cleveland State, John Kasich, News Channel 5. Thank you, John. They were